For the Outer Game video this month, I wanna go into what I call a micro tactic. It's something so tiny and so minuscule, you might think it's like way too specific, why are you focusing on that, all right? Well, the thing is that a lot of game is these tiny little decisions you make. The tiny decisions that may not make a difference at each individual time, but they do make a difference on averages. 1% here, 5% there, but it adds up because there's 50 of these decisions throughout the course of a set. All right, so I'm gonna focus on this little micro tactic. Um, may not seem like a big deal, but it's part and parcel of a bigger idea, which is that logistics are absolutely paramount, okay? And the micro tactic is this. Actually, I'll tell you a quick scenario and a quick story, and then I'll tell you the micro tactic. Um, and this is a story that happens a lot. So here's what happens. Um, I'm with a wingman, we get these two girls, we, we take them in an Uber, we get, get home, and when we get in the Uber, there's this decision, okay? Because Uber seats four people. There's one person that's gonna be in the front, and three people in the back seat. And the way you always do this is you put two girls in the back seat with one of the guys, and you either are gonna pick the guy with the best game, because he can keep their, their vibe good, or you're gonna pick the guy who needs to connect with the girls the most, because like the other guy's already so in, it doesn't matter, and so when you arrive, it'll be good, right? <clears throat> and this is a pretty standard thing that happens over and over again. It's happened in Ubers, it's happened in cabs, that kind of a thing. And um, it's a micro thing, like where do you sit, right? But uh, after one of these scenarios where it, it actually worked out, but it worked out just like it was really difficult and, and, and very clunky, I was thinking about it afterwards and I was like, Todd, you're an idiot. Why the fuck did you get an Uber? Why didn't you get an Uber XL, right? Think about this, okay? <clears throat> Uber, three in the back, one in the front. Uber XL, now you have five, six seats in the back. You can all sit in the back. You can sit next to your girl. Your wing can sit next to his girl. You can actually continue the set properly you don't have to have it interrupted. You also don't have this situation where it's two girls in the back seat communicating with each other, maybe getting out of state, uh, maybe talking amongst each other and, and getting distracted, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's a little thing. It's a little tiny thing, but it makes a fucking huge difference, all right? I thought about it, I'm like, you know what, never again. If you're with four, if you're with a wingman, get an Uber XL. And I thought about all the times that I've pulled that way with the, you know, the, the separation of the seats and all the times when it hasn't quite worked out. And I'm like, how much sex did I miss out on by calling Uber instead of Uber XL, right? Again, it's a little thing, but it makes a big difference. And these kind of things make a huge difference. It's the difference of when you get back to your place, do you take the girl straight to your bedroom or do you hang out in the living room and let her get comfortable first? When you go back to your place, do you take her to like the balcony or like the, the common area and let her get comfortable there and escalate a little bit where it doesn't feel so much like sex is gonna go down? Or do you take her somewhere that makes her nervous and tense, okay? <clears throat> these little details, these little things make a huge difference. Um, you might even say they make all the difference, all right? Um, this actually, this same tip came from a weekend where twice in that, in that I think a week actually, it was an immersion week, but twice in that, that little short period of days, um, I had pulled a two set with a wingman. One of the times it went down, one of the times it didn't, and here's the difference. One time we both went into the same apartment and then it was hard to separate the girls. The other time we took them to this like roof deck patio area and then I took mine to the apartment from there, he took his to a different apartment from there, um, but it was the fact that we went to that roof deck patio, we were able to split the girls, right? Because we were in a place where it made sense to split them. There were other places to go, there was a future move there, all right? <clears throat> so the bigger point here, the, the little point is, hail an Uber XL if you at all if you at all can. I mean, if it's a difference of like one minute for an Uber and 20 minutes for an XL, okay, get the fucking Uber, right? But if it's at all reasonable, get the Uber XL, the seating arrangement will make a difference. That's the minor point. The big point is this, think about fucking logistics. Think about the finer points of logistics because those little things are gonna make all the difference. I'll give you another one. Here's another one on a different poll that I had. Um, I didn't know where we were going. We pulled to a student's house and we we're pulling, same kind of situation. We had an Uber, not an Uber XL because we didn't know this yet. I was in the back with the two girls, he's in the front and we were going to his place because he had the, the better logistics in this case because my, my place was like crowded with a million people and whatnot, right? I didn't know where his place was. I didn't know how to give directions so I had him give the directions. He pulled up to his place on like the dark, creepy side of the place and the girls, instead of getting out and happily going with us, got creeped out by the way it looked and we had massive resistance and it ended up costing us, okay? These little things make a big difference. Think about your logistics. Think about how the scenario is gonna play out. Play a step or two ahead, like play out the movie in your head and see where it's gonna go wrong. It makes such a big difference. <clears throat> and each individual said it may only make a 5% difference, but it adds up. It adds up. You could have equally as good a game as I do, but if you have not as good a logistical management, you may get laid like a quarter or a fifth as often, okay? So, so, so important. Focus on these logistical details. Oh yeah, and hail the Uber XL.